Mini preps are a pretty routine part of molecular biology, but they can often be tedious and when you have a lot of samples, uh, they can take up a lot of time. So today we're going to talk about a couple of time-saving tips that will get you through this process much quicker. So what we're going to do today is first talk about how to use a simple epi rack to help you resuspend a bacterial pellet. Now the process is pretty simple. All you do is take your bacterial pellet that's in an epi tube that you've already spun down, you add buffer P1, and you're simply going to rake the tube up and down the rack a couple of times. And believe it or not, your pellet's going to go right into suspension, no pipetting. So to test the idea that this tip will get us to a redissolved bacterial pellet much quicker, we're going to compare how long it takes to do three mini preps using this resuspension tip versus the traditional way of pipetting each one. All right, so the first set of samples we're going to do is a traditional way by pipetting each pellet individually. Okay, that took 43 seconds. Now we're going to compare that to our tip and see how much faster it is to resuspend bacterial pellets using an epi rack. Thirty seconds. Now had this been a bigger experiment with 10, 20, 30 mini preps, I would have actually used the same pipette tip and been careful of not to touch any of the epi tubes directly. And in this fashion I could very rapidly add buffer P1 to all the tubes at the same time and then going back very rapidly grab each tube and in a matter of seconds five maybe ten seconds we could actually resuspend all the bacterial pellets to prep the vacuum manifold first you want to turn on the vac and then you're going to want to push down on the lid until you hear it seal and if there's a tight seal, you shouldn't hear any leaking. All right, now at this point, we're going to start the timer, and we're going to look at how quickly can we go from this step, having the lysate, to actual purified DNA. All right, so it looks like just over three minutes to go from lysate to purified DNA using the vacuum manifold. Now let's see what it's gonna take uh, doing the traditional way. Almost nine minutes. So a big difference between three minutes and nine minutes, and this is only three samples. You can imagine if you have 10, 20, 30 samples, this is gonna be a much larger difference in time. So in conclusion, using an epi rack to resuspend and using a vacuum manifold, you can get done with a mini prep much quicker. This is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of tips, and a lot of thumb pain.